Hey, what's up, you guys? Tripcord here, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to fix the problem where your um, textures and yeah, basically your textures and all that stuff don't show up in Blender or Cinema 4D. So first thing you're going to have installed is the Roblox Quit Asset Downloader. You can get it on uh, Google Chrome in the web store. Just look it up, and then download that, add it to Chrome. So once you have it, you go to your profile, have your character dress however you want. Um, let me. Let me fix it. Uh, let's say I want to have this bad boy right here. Oh, I don't. I don't own. I forgot I don't own that face. Whatever. Anyways, go back. Go to your profile. Once you're ready, you press this, and then you could either edit it in Studio or just save it and then open it up from there from Studio, but. I'd rather do this. You click to edit in studio. Uh, you open it, click it, and you let this mother trucker load. Anytime. 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 Okay, so now that you have it here, this is where basically most of the tutorials um, have like messed up because there's I think there's been an update to um Rob either Roblox or Cinema 4D and all this stuff where you can't really get the textures when you have this. So what you have to do is open up your character in the workspace, open it up, select body parts, hold shift, then click down here to the very bottom. So you select everything. Don't select any of this stuff down here. Now you control C to copy it and then you delete that. Then you go to workspace, you paste it into and you press Control G to group it again. So now you have model. So then you just save model, uh, export selection. You make it an OBJ. Uh, don't mind this. <laughs> you, you're gonna make it an OBJ. Name it whatever you like. I have a custom. I have in documents a folder for OBJs. So you can save it wherever you like. And I'm gonna call this testicles. All right now the testicles is saved. You can um, either open it up in Blender or Cinema 4D. I don't have a Cinema 4D thing on my desktop, but I'm gonna open up in Blender because in Blender you, you don't you wouldn't have to like uh, what's it called? You wouldn't have to you know manually put in the textures. They would come with it if you did it right. So if you did it right, you just you know import your OBJ. You go here, you find the one, you find the OBJ that you have. You can put it wherever you like. Um, oh, press Shift F to have a free fly mode. It's a lot easier for people who are new to a Blender. All right, so once you have that, you can just press N on your keyboard, go to shading, and press texture solid. And there you go. Instead of all the pink stuff where the textures are missing, you should have this. Um, now, if you like, are gonna make, what's it called? If you're gonna make photos and stuff, you can manually pose your character in a Roblox Studio instead of having to create a rig for it. So you can just, you know, left arm, move it, and then rotate it however you'd like so it can be celebrating. And then, you know, and then save, just select it and save it as an OBJ and then open up in Blender and to if you press right here render and render image you'll see the back of it because the camera is back here so you can delete that camera because you're gonna be able to um, make another one and this is a light I don't know if you would want to keep that but I'm deleting it so you press add down here lamp or camera out of camera first and then you know you can just move it to your liking so I'm gonna move it right here. It it would be straight. It all depends how your camera is angled. So if your camera's angled like this, the lamp uh, the camera will be looking at this. If it's right in front, it will stay, it'll be right in front. So now that you have your camera, just select wherever you think it's uh it'll be a good angle. And now remember there's no light, so if you press render, you probably won't be able to see anything but that. So 
hide render view. Then you're gonna add a lamp. You can add a sun or a point light. It, I really don't like see it. There's a difference between them, but you know, either one is good. You might need two lamps unless you're gonna boost in the intensity of it. So you just place the lamp wherever you think is a, a good place. The shadows will, like, if I put it over here, the shadows will be reflecting off of the head. I'm pretty sure. Like, it'll get darker. Yeah, you see it. So you can basically boost the intensity of the lamp over here. When you have it selected, come to over here. You might not see it. Right here is like a little lamp photo. So then you just... You can do the intensity of the lamp and how bright it will, the amount of light it emits, basically. So I'm going to put it a little bit higher so that when I render the image, it'll be brighter. And then that's basically it. You can just edit anything however you want to. Move the camera back. Um, and then there you go. And you can pose it any way you want. You can do it on Blender, which is a little bit harder which so i would usually do it on studio but basically that's how you do it and i hope you enjoy like subscribe and favorite and tell your friends there you go